Hi everybody, thank you so much for watching my video. One of the purposes of this video is to explain to you what is called a jailbroken Amazon Fire Stick. Um, it's the new craze now. I understand why, because I finally bought one and I realized how much money that this will save me on my cable bill, let alone I really hardly go to movies anymore. How is this possible? Well, it's very interesting. At Amazon.com, you could buy what they call is their Amazon Fire TV stick. It is their own streaming media stick. And they compete, like against Roku, and uh, I think uh, uh, Chrome has, Google has one, the Chromecast. The difference with this, opposed to the other ones, is that their stick is actually like a computer. It has a real hard drive. Well, if it has a hard drive, that means people can, what they say, sideload and or jailbreak and add their programming. So what's really great is when you go ahead and buy, and it has to say the word jailbroken, and I assure you Amazon does not sell a jailbroken Amazon Fire Stick. You're just going to get the Fire Stick, which means that you have to belong to their prime service to watch any of their uh, videos. Um, with this, people have gone ahead and, like I said, and added what, um, uh, you know, another software. So, what happens is if you go onto the web or onto eBay and you pay anywhere between $45 and, let's say, $80 for a jailbroken um, fire stick, this is what basically you're going to get. No matter what box you buy, you have to have, and I mean, a really fast Wi Fi service. If your Wi-Fi drags and you barely um, could get a signal, no box that you can buy will be worth it because you're just not going to get on due to your own Wi-Fi. And you have to be um, sign up for an Amazon account. No big deal. If you don't have an Amazon account, you can go on to Amazon.com, uh, register absolutely for free. After you go ahead and you buy one of these boxes and you're going to kick click this K and it's going to launch you to that person's software. So let's go ahead and take a look at the software that I got when I paid $70. I got this, I plugged it in, and I'm going to be honest with you, you know what, it did do everything that it says. Just to let you know, what is it supposed to do? Well, you will get first run movies. You're going to get pay-per-view movies. You're going to get every premium channel for free. I'll show you that in a minute. But I got this. There were really no instructions in the bare bone ones. They do tell you that they're going to support it and give you instructions. Well, let's just say that maybe I was a little bit too quick to give this person positive feedback because literally um, by 24 hours I gave this person positive feedback and then when I wrote to him and said, what the heck is this and what do I do? I never heard back from them. So two days later of clicking on everything, not only these five icons, all up in here, music program, blah, blah, blah. I clicked on things I shouldn't even have gone into. I finally figured it out. Did it do what it said? Yes, I really was able to get many things. However, there's two different kinds of people in the world. There are people who are really smart and the minute who they get something this bare bones that looks like an old DOS system, you know what, and they figure it out and they understand it, then I'm telling you, you should buy basically the cheapest box on the internet or eBay. For people like me, the other half of the people, you know what, I'd rather pay an extra fifty hundred dollars for a box I could use by just sitting down, turning on my TV, go into my program and not have to deal with this confusion. So let me show you my box. Difference in my box is, yes, it's going to cost you a little bit more, but when you launch um, and come to my program, you're going to go into something that's extremely user-friendly. As you see, I have everything broken up, movies, TV shows, um, Kids Zone, you have a women's area with fitness program, adult programming, all the sports that anybody would ever want. So let me just go ahead and quickly explain what I've done. 
not only making it user-friendly and easy to operate, um, below each one of my categories I have something called a submenu. You could call it a tab or you could uh, call it uh, what they call them or add-ons, channels, okay? The problem with this system is this is not owned by a corporation. So individual people own these channels. There is a person who owns this channel, this channel, this channel, so on and so forth. And usually they're just one or two people. At times, this is a headache to keep going. They have to abandon this. That means this channel may not work. And that's the chance that you take. But for the price, let's see what you get. So here's uh, what like the hot stuff is. This, I mean, this is amazing. This is all the stuff that is either at the movie theater right now. I mean, look at this. This is all at the movie theater. You completely are going to save lots of money because now you could get first run movies. I mean, look at this. Most of this right now is playing at the movie theaters. Uh, pay per view. If you go down, here's another thing. You'll be able to get pay-per-view channels. Um, lots of those. So, like this. I mean, you could. this is on pay-per-view right now. Pay-per-view, pay-per-view. The nice thing about this is once it gets on pay-per-view, the quality of the movie uh, gets a lot better because somebody goes ahead and uploads a better uh, quality. I mean, it's amazing. I mean, look how much money it's saving at the theater. So let's now go and uh, sorry and go to um tv this is where you should be dumping your premium channels so you need to buy this box you get free premium channels all of them hbo you'll get every single you'll still get your game of thrones if you like that you'll get it all in it has every season every episode uh final uh you will uh get um you still, if you're a Netflix person, don't worry. You got Netflix. You still have Orange is the New Black and all their really famous uh, original uh, uh, series. You get almost everything. It's amazing. You get every premium channel. So you can at least reduce your cable bill. Another really great thing about this is if you're patient and you could wait the next day, no matter if this is uh, your television show is on a local uh, network or on uh, cable, if you wait the next day, every single commercial will be taken out of it and you no longer have to sit there and skip and hit the fast forward button. Pretty amazing. Uh, let's go to sports very quickly. My husband loves this. Why? He's a Mets fan. We don't even live close to the state of New York. That's all he does. I mean, he's saving himself. This is Sport League Pass. You get absolutely for free. He normally pays like $160 or $180 so he can watch the Mets. These are all the TV shows you could have watched today. Okay? So, um, it's, it's pretty amazing. So, here's the bottom line. The difference between my box and the cheaper boxes is that, as you see, mine is much more user friendly and it's easier to maneuver around. And I even have what most people have written and complimented me about is I have a search area. So you could actually just type in your movie if you don't want to try and figure out where that is and that saves a lot of time. All right, so I just wanted to take and uh, give a second of your time to kind of explain to you what a jailbroken Amazon uh, box is and why if you're uh, kind of like me and you want to spend extra a little extra money for the comfort of ease, please consider my box. If you could understand the bare bone system, you don't need to really buy my box um, because you'll get pretty much of the same thing on that box too. Thank you so much. If you buy this box, the greatest thing is you're only paying for the box. There's no monthly fees ever. So it's time you kick out your cable company. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.